Welcome to the second part of our interview with photographer and director Chase Jarvis. In this episode of Redefine, Chase shares some thoughts on how he deals with criticism, actually taking pride in being disruptive, and while on the topic of criticism, some thoughts on dealing with the voices in your own head. I just wrapped up a campaign for Naked Juice, the juice that's yes. in all, you know, it's everywhere. Fan, all drinker. Now. Drinker, same. I'm a drinker. Oh my gosh, I, I power that stuff down. And Kate's like, "How did you possibly spend eighteen dollars at Starbucks?" <laughs> I was like, "Well, I bought four. Got the, ra- the green juice and then the mango orange juice four and then naked the naked juice. Um, no, but the, so that campaign is just. I just actually uh, uh, a follower sent a, a. I don't know how they knew this. Come to think of it, but they sent a picture of one of the ads in Rolling Stone magazine. So it's starting to starting to run now, and it's really fun. It's a great campaign, great company with a great agency, and um, I'm excited that, that that's hitting. There's a couple other projects that are not yet out that I can't, you know, that's the, you know, that's the You gotta stay quiet, yeah, 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 you're all excited. Like, oh. And for every, you know, every one or two jobs we get to talk about, there's a half a dozen that we can't for, for some reason or another. And never? I think, um, it depends on the contract. But there's but, sometimes it never? Oh yeah. Uh, oh, I know. That's not like game that you know you can have the best year of your life, but never be able to remember it. Yeah, you can't that's remember what you do for I real. Know, over and over, and I think, frankly, a lot of the a lot of that is getting reinvented, a lot of get is getting discussed behind closed doors. Like, wait a minute, are we missing an opportunity? Yes, they are. You know, and they are. They're missing huge. Like, would you guys love to know what was going on before the rest of the world knew what was going on? And the answer is yes. Tell me, um, well, two things. One, most people know you as you know, smart and creative and high energy and now, now, be careful hip with, with great hair. Great hair. Yep. Hot wife. That's true. She's over there. No, she <laughs> left. I, I, must have, I We'll I send it to her. Yeah. Thank you for but, saying that. There's five dollars coming your way. <laughs> my question is going to be, um, what most people don't know is that you're actually a ridiculously nice human. Thank you. Like truly. And um, I have great parents. You have great parents, but you really like you just are. Thank you. And um, from that that place, sitting from that place, how does it feel to like say, look, I'm I'm doing great works. I'm putting out lots of information for free mm-hmm. to a lot of people. Um, I am enabling change in people's lives daily. I'm helping up and coming artists and bands and writers, you know, get their name out. And you also have to take the flip side of that, which means you're a big name, you're well known, and you get people making snarky comments here and there. How does that feel, and what do you do with it? Well, that's a 22-part question that you just asked. So I'm 22? Gonna, yeah, 22. No, I think. Um, well, first of all, the the I am incredibly grateful and humbled and and excited for anyone who pays attention to what it is that I'm doing whether they like it or are critical. Um, I think that's one of the things that's really cool about the new era of creativity, about the new era of all of us be able to, being able to be both creators and distributors of the works that we produce. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I welcome any of that stuff and I'm, I'm super grateful. And I think it's very fair to take pride in being disruptive. I mean, that's one of the things that I have gravitated towards ever since I was a little Henri Punk. Disruptive thing is really being disruptive, not for the sake of being disruptive, but for the sake of having new ideas that are challenging the status quo. I think that artistically is is crucial. So and when you got the no, 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 you said you examined your psyche. Yeah, I, I examined my psyche and was like, what what messaging am I telling myself? Yeah. And it was just like, what, what messaging did I tell myself? And it was never a defeatist one. It was always, a, well, I bet my competitors are also hearing no right now, and if I just go one further, nice, one, just one more, yeah, then I might be able to persevere. And again, when you start to achieve some success, whatever your measure is, yeah. whether it's money or impressions or pictures or whatever, that if you can just get one and then just get to the next one, and you know, hopefully, they'll, yeah, they'll, yeah, and and to never lose that. That's the thing that is so beautiful about art is that you never have arrived. Even your Andy Warhol, you're making works that don't, they, they didn't become famous until long after you were dead. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, and, and to me, that's beautiful and humbling, and it's, it's neat. I don't know. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, and I love what you talked about, the message in your head and, and, and thinking about that because I, I can just boil it down to um, one of the things I've thought about is um, as a mother, mm -hmm. when I hear thoughts come in that aren't that way, right. I think what I ever say to my kids. Whatever look at my six-year-old daughter and say, you're just, you're just not good enough to make it. Wow. Never. 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 So why would I say it to myself? It's an amazing, that's an amazing pattern. I'm gonna, can I swipe that? Take it. It's yours. You Tamara would never say that to her kids. That's the message. I won't that's say gonna... this to me. But we will. We'll treat ourselves like that. And yet, you know, we couldn't, you know, you wouldn't say it to your best friend. You wouldn't say it to your wife. If you can wake up every morning and look at yourself in the mirror and saying, I'm doing good work or my best work or the work that I need to get out of my body right now, that's, that's cause enough to yeah. keep doing what it is that you're doing. And if you try and please everybody, what do you end up doing? You end up pleasing nobody, especially not yourself. Right. So critics are part of, as a creative, I mentioned earlier, hearing no a lot, or, yeah. or um, like all of those things are valuable and necessary in creating the kind of life and the kind of pictures that you want. Because not everybody's gonna see the world the same way I do. Right. But ironically, that's what you're getting paid for. Because I don't need to get hired by 500,000 people a year, five million people a year. I need to get hired by 10 or 20. And then I've had a great year. What's your favorite product right now? Your favorite thing to play with as it relates to your profession? Wow. Right now, it's very, very physical. Okay. Like it's, it's physical things, physical goods, um, film. Um, you know, literally. Yeah, literally film. Like, yeah. <laughs> put it in the tank and, you know, and get it out uh, a week later or whatever. The, um, I, I very much like what Polaroid has yeah. always stood for, and I have a relationship with them. You know, I think everybody at home should know that. If they don't, they do now. Uh, Anything that, that has a physical representation, yeah. because there's, there's. No, I agree. Like the immediate. It, yeah, it, there's so ugh. much. There's so much. Uh, so many benefits to the digital world that we live in. Yes. That what I like is is sharing things, so we can tweet it out or Facebook it or Google Plus it. Yeah. But also like, I love an amazing Polaroid. Polaroid, when the digital revolution happened, didn't act swiftly enough, right. and um, and they found themselves in bankruptcy and a new owners group bought them out of bankruptcy and the, the new owners group, they actually know what they're doing and they have a vision for the brand to get it back to, to you know, it never, in my opinion, it was never really tarnished. It was just a, a brand that kind of fell into disrepair. Right. And, and the new owner group is- Which in their defense, it's hard to, it's hard to keep uh, up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I think the, the, the vision that I'm trying to impart to the brand um, and that I know this new owner group, I knew it's been a couple of years now, two years now, but that they, they want it to very much be uh, what it has always been, which is kind of a, a brand for the people without being right, too, right. Yeah. you know, without being too weird or you know, trying to make some statement. It's like, I think that's, that is something that is pretty cool. And they have a foot in that nostalgia actual print yeah, the, physicality. Oh, Polaroids, right. that, yeah. And, and, you know, I think you'll, continue to see that they'll be able to do a lot of stuff in the digital realm going forward. Right. And it's it's fun to be able to participate in both. Thank you, you're awesome. Oh my gosh, no, no, you're awesome. No, honestly, I'm, I'm, very, <laughs> I'm, I'm grateful to have been uh, on your show. Thank you, kudos to you for all of the amazing success. And listen to what she says, she's smart. What he said. No, what she said. Thanks, Chase. Check us out next time when we catch up with celebrated wedding photographer Jasmine Starr. And in the meantime, here's a fun little look at one of our most useful toys. When we're shooting for Redefine, we're always on the go and need our equipment like yesterday. That's why we love the Cambio camera bag, which is extra snazzy because it's not just a bag, but a built-in tripod. Whenever we sit down with guests, we grab the gear we need out of it, lock the wheels, pull up the handle, mount the camera, and we're all set to start filming. And there's tons of pockets and compartments to keep everything from exploding when we're running between locations. And even better, when we're all done shooting, we just close it all up and roll it straight on the plane as a carry-on too. You can get your own Cambio camera bag at Adorama.com.